not even sure where that is. Okay. How'd you end up on 66? You said you've been looking for 36 since about 10 a.m. Station uh, 101. I wasn't able to get numbers for both of them. and it's making me a little nauseous. That's better. Whew. Hey, what? Is it? How long you had it? Gotcha. Somebody stole the catalytic converter? Of course they did. Station 101. Yeah. First number was disconnected. A second number, I left the voicemail. You are giving me a hard time. You won't let me help you. And unfortunately, by law, I have to. Then I get in trouble. I'll get fired. And I only got a year before I can retire, and I'm going to get fired. I can't. Yeah, I can't because it's not even close. You're, like, really, really lost. And I, I got to make sure that you, uh, you get home. And if I let you drive away from here, it would, I would feel bad. Go ahead, one of I know, I don't want to lose my job right before I retire. My son wouldn't like that. Second one, he would maybe try that back. Hey, bye. And that's something that I've never done. I've never done drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. And I'll, I'll tell you why that I don't drink. When I was in the career, if you can't get through, I'll miss another. 
Because this is really dangerous out here. Most officers get, if they're going to get killed, they're going to get hit by a car. We're kind of out in traffic. Why don't, why don't you do me a big favor and go with me up to the police department. We'll get a hold of somebody. I know, but you you about have to. You about have to, and I don't want to force you. I'm not trying to get I know, but you are. I know, but I can't do that. I Honestly, I can't do it. I don't want to make you mad, sir, and I appreciate, but I have to do I, I have to do what's in my duties to make sure you are safe, especially somebody that served our country like you have and, and done so much. I can't sit there with a good conscience to try to tell you to go that way, and I think that it was divine intervention that you stopped right behind me, that I stopped that car in front of me so I can help you, but you have to let me help you. I know, and I'm going to help you. I know, and I'm gonna get you those. And if I can get somebody to come up here that you can follow them, because it, there is no easy way to get there. No easy way, and I guarantee you'll get lost again, and it's gonna be dark in about an hour. I know, I know, and it's been way too long, because it's already almost seven o'clock, so it's been 11 hours you've been out and not eating. So what I want, what I want you to do is come with me. And then we'll, we're gonna get somebody to get here. You can drive home, but I just want you to follow somebody because it's about to get bad. If you really want to help. Yes. I know, and I can't. I told you that I can't do that. I, that's why I'd love to do that, but I cannot with a good conscience do it. I want to make sure that you get home and I need to be driving you home myself. But I can't let you do that because I'd be too concerned. I know. I know you do, but you can't say that and then not let me help you. I know. So why don't you let me help you? We'll go up to the police department and you won't be there long and I'm gonna get you some help. You gotta let me help you. I don't have any choice. I know I don't have any choice. You are, you're making it, you're making it difficult for me for somebody that I truly care about. So why don't you step out here and then we'll go up to my car and I'll take you up there and then we'll get you, we're gonna get you a ride. Well, I will make sure that it's it's rolled up. Let's go out there. I know that. I can't. I can't do it. I know you are stubborn. Yes, you are. But you know who's more stubborn? Me. Because I have to do what's within the law, and that's to take care of you. And, uh, and you're not gonna like the fact. Eventually, something has to happen. You, you gotta. Something has to happen where we get you off the side of this road. All you have to do is get me up. Richard, I can't. But you gotta help me help you. Hey Richard. 
Richard. How, how long ago did you serve? Can you see if they need to go to the house? Okay, okay. Gotcha. Mm. Like, like he said, you know, we, we really appreciate that. I'm currently serving in the Army right now, okay? So, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, well, you know, ser service member, service member, right now, we can't sit out here all night. I'm worried I'm worried I'm going to get hit by one of these cars taking the exit ramp. Could you do me the favor of just coming with us so we don't hit, get hit by cars? All right. Sisters. Yep, Darren and Dale. Dick, Darren and Dale. You don't know what their home phone number is? You know, you have been the hardest negotiation I've ever had in my entire life. I've negotiated with people that had guns to their head. But here's the problem. Yes, you are, and you know what? You're putting me in the And that's upsetting me and this officer because all we want to do is help you. You're lost, and you've been gone for 11 hours. So I have to make sure that you're safe, and you're not listening to that. And I know that you have pride, and you should have pride, but also pride sometimes is stepping back and saying, hey, I'm going to take help when I need it. You're not in any trouble, but otherwise, right now you're, 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 you're provide, you can't provide for your own safety. I can't. I told you that. I, I told you I can't do that. That's the problem. The only other thing I can do is, is take you to the hospital. Either you can go with me or I can take you to the hospital, which I don't want to do that because that doesn't help anything. So which one is it? Do you want to go with me till we can get... Yeah. Who's your home nurse? You have his card? You have Jason's number? Like a card? In your wallet? I'm going to grab a vest. Huh? Trap vest. That's fine. Do you have your wallet? Do you have a like his card in your wallet? Yeah. Station to 101. Yeah. Okay, y'all gonna send a unit. Um, he advised, however, their east unit that would respond is on another call, so it may be a little bit. Okay, okay. Who's your nurse? Jason what? get in my car and I'm going to take you up there. Come on. I know you don't want to, but you have to. Why don't you bring that check to? Bring that check. Come on out. Come on out. I know. I love you, buddy. Get me up to I can't do it. I know. I can't. Let's step out here just like you were earlier. Let's go. When I'm going to take, take care of you. We're going to bring you right back. Yes, I promise. You just get me. Come on. You get get me to 36 or 66 feet long. I can't do that. Come on. Don't be don't be don't be grumpy. I'm not grumpy. You are grumpy. You're giving me attitude. You're being grumpy. You're being grumpy. You know it. All right. Come on. You're coming. Let's go. Come on. Quit being grumpy. Come on. I'm setting my ways. I know. So am I. Ask my girls. Yeah. Come on. I'm setting my ways. I'm gonna help you. Come on, come on. If you want to help me. Yep, I'll give you a hand. I, I can't do that. Richard, I told you I can't get you there from there. I cannot get you here. And I, nor with my good conscience. I know you don't want to hear that, but you got to let me help you. And in fact, I won't tell anybody. I just have to help you. 
I know, and I but I can't. I can't do it, buddy. Just come out here, and I'll, I'll help you. I promise I will do. If I have to drive you to Fletcher myself, I'll do it. I will do it. I'm telling you, that's how much I care. So I, I I'm good. I know you are. Almost an hour away from home. I'll tell you what, let's do this. If I have to, how about I drive you to Fletcher? If I can't get somebody, I will drive you to Fletcher. I'll drive you in my patrol car. Okay. Yep. I like it. It's aloe. Let's go make it worth a shit. Come on. Let's go and I'm going to get you home. Come on. Come on, Richard. Let's go. Come on. I got you. Right here. Grab my hand. I'm going to help you. I'll be your cane. I'm better than the VA. I'm better than the VA. Come on. 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 Come on, buddy. Let's go. We gotta go. Come on. I need to help you. Let's go. No, I can't. And you know what? I have a, I have a big football game that's going on. There's a lot of people who see all these cars stop. So we got a lot of other issues, and you're you're making it really hard for me. And then you're still, I'm being frustrating, but you're being frustrating me because I can't protect all these people. If something bad happens, I don't have anybody protecting the streets. So let me come and help you. Come on, come on. Let me help you. No, I am doing my job right now. That's the problem. Come on, Richard, let's go. Come on, just give me your hand and let me help you. It's either that or I gotta call Adult Protective Services. You want me to call Adult? I'm trying to help you to where you have your dignity. Adult Protective Services, they're gonna tell me call the rescue squad and then you have to go to the hospital. And I don't wanna do that. Otherwise, I have to arrest you and you have to go to jail. You want me to take a... How old are you? 33. Yeah, I don't want to arrest you because I... For your own safety. I don't want to do that. I just want to get you home. But you're being you're being stubborn. Stubborn's not against the law. But it's going to make it to where, where you can't provide for your own safety. It is. If you do what I'm asking you... I can't do it, Richard. Let's go, Richard. Come on. Now. Let's go. You're upset me. You don't want to listen to me. I'm here for, for 20 minutes trying to talk to you to help you, and you won't listen. I don't want to make a big scene, but I have to take you. I know you are, but you're going to have to listen. If you respect me and you respect the police, then you need to respect what I'm trying to do for you. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I haven't been a jerk. I've been over backwards trying to help you, but you're not seeing that, so that means you don't respect me. But you're not right now, Richard. Come on. I know. Come on, let's go. Give me your hand, let's go. Come on. You have to. That's just the way that it is. We will help you. I know it sucks, but we'll put you in this car and I'm going to take you. You want to bring your cane? Bring me your, give me your cane and then we'll help you. And then let's take it, and I'll take it with you. I want to make sure all your stuff is good. Here, I'll take it. We've gone through this several times. Come on, let's go. It was outside the store. Can I see your wallet? Come on, you're not helping yourself. He was Let's go. All over. Come on, Richard. Richard, look. I got hit by 
ride this car. Come on, 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 please, please. You just get me. I can't do it. Richard, at this point, for us to do our jobs, which we have to do, we need you to come with us, okay? There's no other option. Well, you know, if you have anybody else that we can call that can help you, because you're not helping me. I've done this long enough. I've been here 24 years. I'm not going to negotiate with you. It's like arguing with somebody that doesn't want to change their mind. You used to take orders. You probably used to give orders. And all I'm trying, I've done nothing but ask. But now, you're not doing anything to help yourself. And I'm concerned about your safety. I can't. I've, I've explained that multiple times. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Come on. Come on. Step your legs out. You can go. Come on, go out here and just make sure you're okay. Yeah, you just get checked out. You get checked out and you say you're all good, and they're just like, go. He is. Just gonna be a couple minutes. Let's get you out of here. Let's let's take an aim. We'll look you over. We'll, we'll just do that for right now. Then we'll see where it goes from there. Let's get you out of the truck. You're not driving out of here, so let's hop out and hop over here. We just want to we just want to check some boxes. Here. Yeah. We already know you're not driving out of here, so let's hop out of the truck. We'll hop on the top here, and then we'll just take an aim. Let's look you over a little bit. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, you're not driving. Out of here, so let's go take This is an elderly male yes, yes. who is confused and really lost, so we're going to tow it to our impound. Sure, sure. I've been out here for an hour with him, trying to That's talk him crazy. into it. I've negotiated with him for an hour and five minutes. Yeah. So, so it's time to go. I mean, at this point in time, are you okay with Yeah, I'm good. I mean, okay. we, we have to. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. a danger to himself. So yeah. as much as we don't want to make it ugly, it's just that he has to go. Okay. All right. All right, Richard. We're going to we're gonna pull you out of here and put you on our car. Yeah. So we're going to come on. Come on, Richard. Richard. Okay. Richard. Thank you.
Yeah, there we go. There we go, Richard. Now, we're going to take care of your truck, I promise. Yep, we're going to I told you that I'm going to take care of that. There's listening to me. Did, you want there. the checks with you? They're in you want it with you? Yes, I'm on okay. it. Okay. We can make that happen. You guys can keep that just in case. There you go. Anything else you want? Hang tight. We're able to find the you gotta leave that on, Richard. I, yeah, don't need to fucking take Here, hold on to that. That's your, that's your seat belt, Richard. I don't need it. Thanks, guys. Seat belt. I'll have a chief. report. Awesome. Wheels locked down there, Oh, and I, I appreciate what you guys I know. Doing. I appreciate you too, buddy. I really do. Thank you so much. Yeah. I believe this, we're gonna. You said you're on a traffic stop and he pulled up behind you? Yeah, he pulled up behind it. So he's traffic stop, pulled up behind it. One of the directions tells me, and I said, Well, when did you leave? He goes, Well, about 8 o'clock this morning. And I'm like, What well, do you know what time it is? And he's like, Well, you know, so I, I'm not really sure. I said, It's almost it's almost 7. Yeah. I mean, it's been almost 11 hours. By that time, it's 6. Um, so then he just would argue. I just told him, I said, I'll just get a hold of family. We tried doing that. Couldn't get a hold of anybody. But he kept saying the same story over and over again, and he said he gets lost. Oh yeah. So, well, sure. thank you. Appreciate yeah, no it. Problem. So I have the keys. So if it'll make it a little bit easier, we we'll go to the impound lot. I'll just do my impound. Sound good? I don't know that there's anything in it. I'll secure it out there. That should be pretty clean. So I'll pull forward. And we'll grab it. You what? I'm gonna grab oh, okay. The that sounds good. Do what you gotta do, and then I won't have to move. Yeah. Are you guys gonna leave your truck here? Do you want me to secure it, or are you gonna? Go I can. I can fucking fall. They should be moving here relatively quickly. Do what? A little big. All right. Left tail lights off. Yeah. County, Miami County. Miami. He's from Fletcher. Fletcher, yeah.
You have the key? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. One key. Get that out of the way for you, Chief. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'll tell you what. No, you're good. I really don't have a reason to put it in the impound line. You guys just want to take it in your spot, but that's up to you. Yeah, I would just. So look, I'll finish this off. Well, now nah, I tell you, we'll just take it to impound. I don't care, because then I have to. I gotta get all this other. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. I will follow you there. Oh. 